Yeah. So um, let's start off by doing this. Put your legs all the way out, right? relaxed. Right? Don't lock the knees. Put them all the way out. Just sit nice and comfortable. And then slowly walk your feet back until your feet are just, just touching the floor. And your toes, your toes will be raised a little bit. Yeah? So from here, just slowly walk them back. And you'll still feel the you still feel the toes lifting a little bit. You can adjust from there. And the main thing is I'd like you to have have your foot in front of your knee. Right? Like this. So this this is um too close, right? Definitely not straight up and down. Right? But so from here, just kind of walking it back and and then you feel you feel your hip area. Like it might actually feel uncomfortable when you first do this because we're so used to not letting our legs fall, right? Like you might want to be, you might be activating this to hold it back and keep it from sliding. Yeah. So get used to that feeling where you just let it go. So when you let it go and let the leg fall, you'll feel a little bit more pressure on the heel, right on the heel. Okay? And then the toe will lift up a little bit. And then from here, gently press the foot down. And if you listen to this and see if you're trying to, if you're trying to hold the foot to keep it from sliding, don't do that. <laughs> if the foot wants to slide, let it slide. Okay? And what you need to do is control where you don't stop the sliding by, by um, restricting the movement. You just stop the sliding by relaxing, adjusting just where the foot is and how much pressure you're applying. Right? So if the foot goes straight down, it won't slide forward. Right? But if you're pushing like this, it's going to slide forward. Okay? And you just want to keep that foot on the floor. You want the toes down and you want to relax, relax, relax. And imagine the legs a little bit heavy, pressing and sinking into the earth. Okay. So I, I think if instead of telling people to extend their legs, <laughs> because it doesn't seem to, to work for everybody. So if you do it like this, start with the legs out and then slowly walk back, then you'll get this position. Okay? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to open up the hips and open up the knees. Okay? So if the feet are in front of the knees, when you gently start pressing, pressing into the floor, you'll feel these muscles activate. You feel this muscle activate, but the knees will not lock, or the knees shouldn't lock, okay? and the ankles won't lock. And you can compare it to if you put your feet right under the knees and start pressing down. You start pressing down on the floor with your knee, with your feet right under your knees. You'll feel right in this area, the knee area, right, start to activate, and you'll feel the pressure here. And, th and that's what we're trying to avoid. That's what we don't want. So legs in front, want the legs to hang down, and that will help to allow the joints to open. So one of the things we're always trying to do is, is as we relax, we're trying to open and loosen the joints. Okay? So opening and loosening the joints is a big thing. It's a big thing in the internal, in the internal Kung Fu, the internal Tai Chi and such. Yeah? And the other way you can practice it with your upper body is just have your hands out, no higher than your shoulders, drop your elbows, and then slowly, slowly expand, slowly extend, keeping the shoulders, the elbows, everything relaxed. And right where you feel it tighten, you have to, you have to consciously keep the shoulders down, keep the the back of the shoulder joints down, keep the elbows pointing down, and don't let it lock, right? We don't want the shoulders to rise like this. So you just keep on extending the shoulder blades, gently stretching the fingertips, relaxing the breath, take some time, make sure the, the lower belly is expanding. And you can feel yourself pull the shoulder blades down as you extend. We don't want the elbows to lock, we don't want any of the joints to lock. You want to feel like you're, you're expanding and stretching forever, infinity. 
and then you can just hold that stretch without locking and then at the same time you, you work on both so the legs are extending into the earth the hands are extending out and if you want the hands can come up a little bit and then that way you create that that vortex of spiral going up and you imagine it swirling and your legs extend down into the earth so your body is separating like this so for your body to separate right the, the whole hip pelvic area has to be loose okay, so the upper body is stretching upwards the lower body is sinking downwards into the earth and if you're like this especially if you're like this and let's say if you were standing if you did this standing you would lift your heel up but the imagery is you want to be that big enormous tree okay? so the very bottom stump of the tree is solid right it it doesn't move but from that real solid base that sinks into the earth right it sinks a little bit a few feet into the earth from there it branches out into roots and the roots keep on growing they keep on expanding some roots might die new roots will come out if it hits an obstacle right it doesn't force it it just tries to slowly erode that obstacle away but then new roots will come out and then from the tree trunk the very stump is solid 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 right it doesn't flex that's your hip area but as it comes up Right? As it comes up, it gets thinner and thinner, and then it slowly starts to flex. So that's like, that's like this section. And then as you hit the middle and the upper part, it can flex a little bit more. Okay? And that's about up here. And then from here, it branches out, and the branches are strong, but there's some flex. And as you start hitting the small branches to where the leaves are, there's more flex. And when you hit the leaves, the leaves are fully flexible okay? but the bottom is rooted and sinking and it's not press it doesn't press against the earth right it just sits on the earth it's heavy it just sinks it takes whatever the earth has if the earth is real soft it's going to sink really easily if the earth is real solid it's just going to sit there and slowly try to erode that that earth and the roots keep on growing and growing and they don't just go straight down right the root system goes out it gets really broad so the base gets really broad and that allows the tree to pull nutrients water up from the earth right so for you through the feet coming up the trunk and then out through the leaves okay? and then even the leaves the leaves are opening so if you Put water right there, there's breathing and respiration going on it absorbs the sunlight from the top and that goes back down so the the whole tree as solid as it looks there's a lot of free open circulation anywhere in the tree you don't have circulation that part of the tree dies right turns into a knot turns into a hole so you want to be like that large 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 tree it doesn't fight the earth, it doesn't resist the earth, it just sinks there and it roots and that's the rooting you want. So the joints have to, you have to let go, let the legs fall and you can activate them and slowly press them into the earth. The toes have to press down, the whole foot have to press down, but the very bottom of the feet has to be relaxed. So. In the beginning, you really have to experiment with this. Um, and when we learn something, we tend to start off, usually the process is very large concrete, right? You have to feel it, you have to be able to see, see it. And, and at the very end, it's refined, it's very subtle. Not everybody understands what it is, but you just have to feel it. So in the beginning, just press your feet against the earth. Make them heavy, heavy, heavy. Feel what muscles are activating, just pressing. As time goes on, you don't have to press. And you, you always think about what you want to do first. And over time, as you start thinking about your feet sinking into the earth, you'll, you'll feel your feet react and your feet will start to, to press. You don't have to force it down. Okay? And then the upper body, 
is although you're expanding upwards, right? You want to feel everything expanding upwards and the muscles pulling, pulling, pulling. The top of the head needs to be suspended from above. And the top of the head suspends from above, back of center. As you pull, it will cause the, the chin to swivel down because you're pulling up from here. Okay? So not exactly center here. It's more by the giddy giddy. And that's the part that's going to align with your neck. Okay? So this is pulling and suspending. So the body feels like it's falling, but at the same time, the muscles are reaching and extending outwards. Okay. So you can do this standing, you can do it um, sitting as we're doing. You could even do it while you're lying in bed, right? So before you go to sleep or when you wake up in the morning, you can just lie back and just imagine your body expanding and, and stretching in all directions and loosen your hip and just let that stretch come out and gently hold it and then gently relax and let it go. So, loosen, open and loosen the joints is a big thing. And that goes with song or sung, either song or sung, which is relaxing. So song is relaxing, but what we want to do is we want to relax, we want to let go while we're doing movement. So while we're expanding, we have to let go. Internally, we have to feel like everything's, everything's loose and relaxed but we're expanding, we're expanding, we're expanding, we're expanding. Okay? And you don't want to have that little blip when you're expanding. In other words, you don't want to be expanding out and then you have to stop and to, when you relax, you pull back. No, you have to keep on expanding, expanding, expanding. So if Bon comes, okay? so if Bon is, is slowly push, yeah, just take a nice little stance. And then she's slowly pushing me, we sink everything down, look up, lift the sternum, yeah, sit back a little, relax, 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 relax. And if she slowly pushes me and relax, and while she's pushing, she has to work on relaxing. And never letting that push stop, letting it draw back and relax, 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 relax. Yeah, 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 there, relax, 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 relax. So that constant pressure, that constant pressure never stops or backs off while she's trying to let everything go. Okay, so that's, that's the state of song or state of song that I, I want you to achieve. And, and it's, worth, it's worth the effort. <laughs> and it's something that takes time because over time you realize that it's not just a single definition, right? There's kind of grades of definition and abilities as you get there but that will um if you can get yourself to physically do some of these things you start to translate that physical into uh, the, the rest of your life it'll help you so it'll of course help you with the health because you'll be more relaxed your circulation will be better you won't be fighting things all the time you'll you'll save your energy but you'll be calmer less anxiety as you approach things. So practicing like this will slowly translate and even, even when life is like just horrible, right? you have that knowledge in the back and when you calm down, you can think about it and it helps to reset. If you don't have any of that knowledge, then it's just anxiety all the way. Yeah? It's just, so what do we do? What do we do? Okay. All right. So relaxing. Learning, learning how to relax, sung, and open and loosen. Okay. So extend the legs, bring the hands up, and we'll begin. Yes, so again, slowly as you come up, just slowly stretch and open up every joint. Let the legs and the lower body fall, let the hips open up. Nice deep breath, and exhale, and come down at the same time. Remember to direct the chi with the the palms, the center of the palms is important. The tip of the, the tip of the middle finger, the tip of all the fingers are important. Gently keep your knees aligned, your legs aligned to the front. Notice if they want to pull to the outside or the inside. And gently keep them aligned and 
Allow your body to correct itself. Use your imagination. Use your mind. So think of, think of the movement. Imagine the movement we're doing and let the body follow. When you imagine the movement you're doing, you're using the E. The E is the intent. So imagine you're gathering up the chi slowly and you're extending your mind way up in the sky, way up in the universe and gently gathering and pouring it down through the top of your head, down through your body, moving through all the joints, all the muscle cells, all the systems. You can imagine it's like standing under a shower and this flow of clean, clean energy from way up in the sky, way above all our man-made pollution is coming and flowing into you, into the earth. As you pour it into the earth, it displaces the earth chi which rises around you and you slowly gather that with the chi from above. Imagine it going right down your spine, right down the center of your body, just slowly swirling and spiraling down and cleaning out your spine, cleaning out the nerves, flushing. Imagine it washing your brain. And every part of your brain, every hemisphere, every small little compartment, and as it comes down, it's slowly washing all the organs, flushing, cleaning, letting the earth regenerate it, clean it out. Imagine it's flowing down through every bone of your body, flushing and moving the chi through the bone marrow, stimulating the blood growth, the bone growth. If you want, you can direct it to any system you could imagine it slowly, gently flowing in the heart and going through every, every vein, every artery of your body. Maybe you need it to flow in the lymphatic system. Any system, or maybe you need to focus on one organ or one part of your body. I was talking to somebody and they're their appendix is right on the edge. So you can imagine that you're continuously flowing that energy right into that organ and you gently imagine that organ cleaning itself out, rebalancing. Imagine that, that dirty spot on it, healing. Imagine it glowing and polishing. If you're not sure what the organ does, you read up about it so you can visualize it properly. You can understand how it works and you can direct with your mind that you're slowly fixing and correcting all those systems. Breathe in from the earth. The legs are heavy, sinking into the ground. The bottom of the feet are gently pressing and sinking into the earth like roots. The hips are stable but loose and open. The leg is falling into the earth. We're flowing the chi up through the bones, stimulating every bones, the rib cage, the spine, the shoulders, the arms, the skull, every bone in your hand, every bone in your feet. You can feel the body expanding, creating space between the bones. Imagine the ligaments and tendons gently stretching. You can imagine the fluid in your spine has space to move and release. You can imagine the fluid in your brain being stimulated. Come up from the side, eyes looking far away, stretching, expanding the fingertips, breathing in and out, sink, and then expand. Shoulders down, elbows down, the fingertips expanding. <sighs> Tip of the tongue on the upper palate of the mouth, behind the upper teeth. Expand the lower belly when you inhale. Let everything out. 
relax and then expand, winding the palms up. One more time each side. Feel the shoulder blades doing the work. Move from the shoulder blades, scooping down. Fill up every muscle, every cell in your body. Deep breath in, squeeze and exhale. Surging and slowly let go. And then focus it in your bones. Focus all that energy and squeeze it through every bone of your body. Slowly letting go. And finally, ligaments and tendons, twisting, wrapping, pressing, squeezing. Slowly let it go, bring everything back to center. Release all the tension in your body. In other words, release your legs so your toes will lift up a little. Your head no longer being suspended from above. So you remove that intent to sink into the earth, to stretch up and be suspended. You just want to be that little soap bubble. You just want to find wuji for a little while while you breathe and let everything calm down. No intent, wuji is no intent. Just let the body balance itself. You can close the eyes a little bit. Relax all the joints. If you feel your body moving or vibrating or rotating, that's actually a nice thing to happen. If the joints are stiff and locked, they can't move and vibrate. If the joints are open and loose, your body starts vibrating and humming at certain frequencies and all the joints can start moving. Relax the face, let all the tension in your facial muscles go. Just start looking into your heart and smiling at your heart. Gently think of that sun in your chest warm and cool, connected to the sun in the sky, gently radiating energy from your chest to your whole body, and slowly waking up everything up. Relax the hips, and again, slowly start connecting your feet into the earth so your legs are a little bit heavy. <clears throat> your feet are pressing into the ground you can imagine those roots coming out of your feet, expanding into the earth, spreading. Top of the head starts to suspend again, just back of the giddy giddy. While you're doing all of this, relax and drop your breath down to your lower tantin, about three inches below your belly, your belly button. Arms hanging straight down. Release all the tension in your face. Slow your breathing down, nice, slow breath. Any distractions, acknowledge them, and then bring yourself back to your practice. Slowly opening your eyes, looking straight ahead, imagining you're looking out at the mountain. Check your body that you're expanded in both directions. Check your face that they're relaxed, all the muscles are relaxed. Check your heart that you have that little sun in your chest and you're smiling at the heart and you're smiling from the heart. And check your breathing that it's relaxed and your lower belly can expand and contract by itself and that you're not, you're not holding on to the hip joints. Take a deep breath and slowly turn the palms to the front, relaxing the elbow. Make sure deep breath in and letting it all out. As you release the shoulders, and as you breathe in, slowly start to pick up your hands when you're ready. Right? Don't rush, don't stop your, don't stop your cycle of breathing. 
and exhaling, right? Don't interrupt. Just go at your own pace. If you need to stop and take a break, just stop and take a break. Let everything go and begin again, breathing in. Drop the shoulder, drop the elbows, like washing your face and turning your palms and exhale and down, just the head falling. Remember to let the legs fall into the earth. Fingertips just stretching. And the fingertips stretch, they're pulling the rest of the arm with it. Breathing in, looking straight ahead at the mountain. Imagine you're just staring at a beautiful mountain. One more time. Feel the muscles expanding away from the center. Feel the head being suspended from above. Smile, inner smile. Let everything go. Number two, looking to the side. Lower hand is continuously falling as you breathe in and look over the fingertips. Let all the tension go. Shoulders are down, elbows are loose. As you exhale, you're washing the forearm with the center of the palm. Smile, inner smile. Just take your time. Don't worry about left or right. Don't worry if it's right or wrong. You just slowly take your time. Just slowly making those small corrections. And more important, you relax. And you let all the tension go. And correcting, the, correcting the form will come. But that inner form of relaxing and letting go. That's... That's really important. That will translate to any move you do. Come back to center when you're done. Height of the throat. Do an open and close. Just take your time. Throat is your voice. So sternum should be up. Voice should be open and clear. No restrictions. That means no restrictions in your expression. Are you speaking or singing or writing or creating? Are you thinking? Whenever you're expressing your thoughts, you don't want restrictions. You want to be able to clearly hear your own voice and your own thoughts. And down, forward and falling. So that was our neck. Moving to our shoulders. And take a breath first. Make sure you let everything go. Fold your arms. Palms at the side. And gently start squeezing your shoulder blades together. Trying to get your shoulder blades to touch. And you can't squeeze anymore. Lift them up and over. Turning your palms. Put your mind on the inside lower corner of each shoulder blade. And move just that spot. Just squeeze that spot and pull that spot up. Let everything else follow. And continuously turning the palms. We get a nice rotation in the shoulder joints while we get a nice big stretch. You want to feel those muscles under the shoulder blade stretching. And come forward. Turn the palms out. Pull the step. One spot in your shoulder blade up and back. Look straight ahead. Now learn to look straight ahead at that mountain. You're still looking and watching that beautiful mountain. You can think of Mauna Kea or Mount Fuji, even the Waianae Range. Something that peaks. So it focus your, focuses your attention, draws your attention to the top center. Relax and do one side. Relax the neck, relax the waist so it can turn. 
keep the knees pointing straight, relax the legs, let the head turn. That sun, that little sun is always in your chest putting out energy. It's always that, that light feeling of smiling, even though your face is relaxed. Come forward after three times and finish your movement. The other arm is relaxed, head still suspended, legs still sinking and pressing into the earth. Squeeze. All the way down. Relax and do the other side. Look straight ahead. Feel the shoulder blade opening and stretching and squeezing. You should feel the arms hanging right at the side of the body. And let the waist turn, let the head turn. And forward. Down and forward and then back. One direction will stretch the back of the shoulder a little bit more. The other direction will stretch the front of the shoulder a little bit more. Look straight ahead, scan the horizon. Just, just look at that mountain. Notice how much my body can turn during the movement all the way down, finish your movement. And then do two sides back to front again. Just go at your own pace, right? Don't cut your movement short, and front to back. All the way down, relax, and then loose. Oh, funny, I just realized on my screen, my hand is up. I'm raising my hand on Zoom. <laughs> Loose. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's wherever my mouse is sitting, I guess. <laughs> ah, and then relax. Yeah. And then come up, breathing in. Make your shoulders as light as possible. Keep the elbows in front of your body. You want to feel your arms winding around your elbows and the palms are continuously rotating. Breathing in and out. Let everything go. Legs are sinking into the earth. The bottom of your feet, those roots are, are just sinking down into the earth. But as those roots from your feet sink into the earth, they're allowing the chi to flow up and down. They're allowing circulation. The top of the head is open, so that circulation could go all the way up into the heavens and spiral back down. Nice deep breath. Feel the lower belly expand and relax. Make your shoulders as light as possible. Let everything go. Right here, let everything go. When you exhale, you can practice song right here. As you exhale, relax and feel that expansion. Breathing in and exhale and expand. And as you expand, be totally relaxed. So every time you exhale, you can be practicing song. You can, you can be practicing song the way the way we want to apply it, as in relaxing while you're expanding. But even as you come up, there's that feeling of sung relaxing. Okay? So there's that different qualities of when and how to apply sung. And finish your movement, let everything go. Relax a little. Okay, then we move to our spine. So hold the ball first and then separate the hands, one up, one down. <coughs> 
Just discover your shoulder blades first. Connect your shoulder blades. Okay, both feet are still sinking into the earth. You can feel the bottom of your feet connecting with the earth. Top of the head suspended. And then slowly stretch the shoulder blades away from each other. Relax the hip. Relax the pelvic joints. Relax every vertebrae. Relax the neck. Imagine your spine expanding from the bottom of the tailbone, through the lumbar, through the thoracic region, up through the neck, the cervical. And open your throat and breathe. Even while you're stretching, don't let the stretch restrict your breathing. Take that nice deep breath and expand your lower belly. Loosen your spine, let it, let it go, smile. Finally, take a deep breath. And exhale when you're ready. Let everything fall back into place. Stretch the tips of the fingers. Wash through the forearm and start breathing in. And just breathe naturally first. Find your shoulder blades first. And then slowly stretch your shoulder blades away from each other. Relax the lower lumbar. Relax the hip, the pelvic, the sh shoulder joints. Head is nice and straight, suspended from above. The bottom half of your body is falling and sinking while you keep on stretching, expanding. As you breathe in, expand the lower belly. Force yourself to sink that air down to your tantin. Nice full breaths of air. Every time you breathe in, you can feel the stretch. Every time you exhale, you can feel it stretching and growing. And finally take a deep breath. And slowly exhale. Drop the elbow straight down. Just run that ball. Remember that feeling like you're rolling a ball against the forearm. Breathing in, continuous breath now, and exhale. The bottom hand comes up through the elbow, rolling that ball against the forearm. And right where the palms pass, you start breathing in again. Finish your breath. Finish the stretch. And then exhale. Think of exhaling. Think of the movement. Roll that ball up through the center of the palm. And start breathing in. Feel the shoulder blades connected. Feel the hips relaxed and the legs sinking into the earth. Feel the bottom of the feet relaxed. Feel every joint falling back into place and then as you inhale you start to expand. Turn the upper palm back and drop the elbow right in the center. You have to turn your waist and as it falls, the hand washes the outside. And then it lifts about the eyebrows and it falls about the belly button. And it just spins away, tight spin. And then you keep on turning. The palms remain right in the center. Relax, but let everything turn. And then unwind. The elbow drops straight down. You have to turn your waist. Open the palms and stretch the fingertips. Lift right about the eyes again and fall by the belly button, just below the belly button. And as you turn, relax the shoulders. Breathing in, feel that wind up and then exhale, let everything go. And turn the body, learn to turn. Breathing in and exhale, release. And then breathe in, winding up, and exhale, release. Let the, let the palms spiral. Slowly feel that twist coming out through the fingertips, through the palms, through the forearms. Nice deep breath. Exhale. Start winding up and breathing in. 
exhale, unwind. With the palm pass, start winding up. Exhale. And come back to center. Right in front of the heart. Lift the sternum. Relax the hips. Legs are falling and sinking and pressing into the earth. Sternum is up. Sun in the chest. Smiling. Smiling at the heart. Smiling from the heart. The face fully relaxed. Top of the head connected to the sun. Above the sun. Shoulders relaxed. Turn the palms up and down to hold the ball right in front of the heart. And then keep on turning while you breathe in. This time, much gentler turn. Still winding up, but not quite as intense as when we did that previous spiral. Breathing in, let the head turn, let the waist turn. And out. Just rotate the palms like you're polishing a ball. Feel the center of the palms connected. Release. Breathe in. Let the whole body turn. Look straight ahead. Don't look down. Scan the horizon. Last time, and then we'll come back to center. When we come back to center, we're going to come back at solar plex. Smiling, that inner smile. A little lower. Sternum is up. Tilt the sternum up. Project way in front of you. Way out to infinity. Way out to that mountain. Keep the sternum up. Feel like you can walk on water. Full of confidence. Right? Nothing can stop you. Nothing in your way. You're just this arrow or this wedge, this force of nature. You can be moving fast or slow, but just confidently, just moving forward easily. No restrictions. Palms come forward when you're done. And down and release all the tension. Let everything go. Take a breath. And then slowly, one foot connects to the earth while the other foot picks straight up. Upper body is relaxed. When you bring the foot back in under the knee, and then slowly switch. Feel that leg planting and pressing and releasing the other leg. Let everything go. Okay, reset yourself in the chair. As we do the legs and the stepping, I want you to focus right inside of this joint, right in here. So right in the middle, if you press with your fingers and feel that muscle, right where the joint folds, right where this pelvic joint folds, just press and feel that muscle in there. And want your mind right on that muscle. And that muscle is going to sink and press down. And when it sinks 100%, when it has to sink, right? not just press, but when it sinks, you, you listen to the other side. So when this side sinks, this side will let go. And then you can pick the leg up. And then when this side sinks, this side will let go. So 100% zero. But you have to listen to that muscle right in here. So you take that fingertip and you press into your muscle, relax the hip, okay? have that physical connection so you know which muscle you're talking about, right where it folds. Okay. Reset your body. Legs right at the bottom, legs resting. Okay? So the legs are like wuji. Okay? The bottom half is wuji. You just let it just let it rest. And we start with the palms first. Uh, just take a nice breath in before we begin. And let it all out. Okay? So as we start warming up the pelvic joint, the hips. Legs are resting and just the palms are pulling the energy up. And sink the shoulders and elbows and guiding that energy back into the earth. Very consciously resting the legs on the earth. Not pressing, not pulling up. All the focus is on the palms. 
cooling the chi up and pumping it back into the earth and let it all go. Breathing in and out. And see, let it all go, finish the movement. As you do this, listen, listen to the feeling of the bottom of the feet. See if the pressure changes on the very bottom of the feet throughout the movement. Let it all go. One more time. See if it feels different when your hands are pulling the chi up compared to when the hands are pumping the chi down. And when you let everything go. Let everything go. One last time, just the hands. Use the tip of the middle fingers. And take a breath and rest. So as we do the movement, right, we're going to pick up one leg, it's going to step forward, and that leg's going to press on the earth, the back leg will release and step down, and the front leg will release and step back, and then we, again, right, so walking in place. For one leg to release, right, if, if my right leg, I want to pick up my right leg, and my left leg has to be pressing 100% on the ground. So you start by pressing the leg on the ground, but then focus right in that joint and sink that. That's the muscle that's going to be pressing. And then it has to sink and you have to feel it drop. And right when it drops and sinks, right, just that muscle, then the other side will release and then you can pick up the leg and step forward. And then that leg presses down. And right when that muscle presses down and releases, you feel this one go zero and then you can pick it up. So focus on activating these muscles right here. You'll, you'll feel all the other muscles working, of course, but really focus, really focus right in that joint. Okay, so hands down, everything is start at zero, and then slowly start pressing both feet into the earth. Bottom of the feet are relaxed, but sinking, and then put your mind right into this right into that muscle and that's the muscle that's pressing now. Make sure the toes are down connected. You feel both legs sinking and pressing. 50-50, they're even right now. Okay. Check your posture, take a deep breath. Let everything go okay. and then begin. Doesn't matter, just decide which leg you're gonna pick up first. Okay. And begin, sink one leg. The other leg releases, step forward, that leg starts pressing, sink that pelvic joint down, then the other leg releases, and then it's down, and then sink, and then that leg can release. Just focus on that muscle right in, in that joint. You want to feel that, that muscle release before you pick up the leg. Just take your time, focusing right in that pelvic joint, right in the quad. Call it the quad. Let everything go. As you get close to it, you feel that the leg, the leg will just pick up by itself when it's ready. If you press all the way down, when you press all the way down, you'll feel like it's almost pushing the other leg up. If you try and pick up the leg too early, you're going to have to pick up the leg. It won't rise by itself. But if you just wait and sink, you'll feel the other leg release. It just takes time to experiment and find that and have the patience and the trust that it's going to happen. You don't feel it, don't worry. You just keep working at it. As the movement refines, and you, and you slowly start to feel that change. Yeah, and this is rooting. So if you need to sink into the earth, this is how you want to do it. And feel that change from the left leg to the right leg to the left leg. Yeah, 
And that's the exchange of yin and yang. Okay, that's the transformation of yin to yang and yang to yin, of 100 to zero. The more you sink into that pelvic joint and press that down, the easier the other leg will just release. And you just have to think about picking the leg up. Just take your time and focus right in that pelvic joint. And slowly your hands will coordinate. And you'll still feel the quad muscle, the thigh muscles activate. Let everything go and then begin again. Just a few more. This movement it is for the hips, to loosen up the hips. But we're turning it into a nice therapeutic movement to develop, not just warm up and loosen up the joints. And come back to center. Relax, do one open and close. So if you're really pressing, you might feel right in Right in here, if the longer you do it, over here might get a little tired. So, so the next one, as we turn, right, really relax and loosen. You have to let this go or move the feet around or shake it around. If you need to stand up and shake out this joint. The more you press into here, the more it's going to work and activate it. Okay? So turn to one side, drop that knee, just turn the leg out, just let the knee drop and reach straight for the screen, reach straight to the front, watch what you're doing and let the waist turn and then relax and drop the other knee and turn the opposite way and reach, breathing in, relax the shoulder, stretch the fingertip and exhale. Yeah, that's, that's it. I should see everybody looking straight at their camera and turning the waist and feel the the lower back twisting, and you can feel the pelvic joint opening. Remember, you can take a bigger step, or you can do that full step, okay? whatever is comfortable for you. Just take your time. Always come back to zero. Do whichever ever move is comfortable. You can get a pretty big stretch if you want. You can keep the stretch small as long as we're moving our hips. As long as you're stretching the hips open, you're fine. Remember, it has to be safe and comfortable. You want to stay out of the pain range. If it's sore, you want to either shorten the movement, slow it down. If you can't get rid of that pain in the movement, just don't do the movement. Just modify it. Okay, last time, each side. Okay, and then I always like to end with the smallest movement of the leg. Okay, one more time. Think deep in your body. Relax. Okay, loosen up the leg a little bit. Okay. The more you press right into here, it's not just stretching anymore, but we're really working these muscles. So loosen up the leg a little bit before we do the next warm up. <clears throat> okay, next one, same thing. We're going to pick up one leg, push the heel straight out. You have to push the knee down okay, as, as you come up. We're going to come out. The, we're, we don't want the upper body to fall. We don't want to pull with the upper body. We just want to try and keep the upper body upright and relax, head suspended. When you press, push the knee down. When you push the knee down, you feel the back of the knee stretch. Right? So remember, this is a warm-up. You want to push the knee down, not trying to lock it, but just trying to get the back of the knee to stretch. And then pull the toe back and push the heel out at the same time. And then keep the upper body suspended. Don't, don't let your body drop like this. Okay? So only as high as you can hold the upper body and relax the upper body and just keep it suspended. Right? If I do this, that's too high. As soon as you disconnect from the ground, this muscle is working. Right? So only as high as you can relax the upper body. And then we're going to progress from just here. Then the next one will be
compressing and opening up the joints. And then the next one, you turn the body, turn the body as you do the movement. Okay. But remember to pick up one leg right into this joint has to sink and press all the way down. And then you feel the other side just release. Okay. Okay. All right. Where are we? Oh, hands on the side. <laughs> Got so focused on the mechanics, I forgot which warm up we're actually doing. Okay, so one hand up and then the opposite knee comes up. Right, so again, you have to sink and press, so sink and press. Other knee can come up and then out. Slowly take your time, push that knee down, feel the back of the leg stretching, and then lift. So the lift, you have to press the other leg down and come back. Okay, and then relax and then sink this side down so the other leg can come up. So opposite leg and hand. Push the knee down, press the knee down so you feel the back of the leg stretching and then lift. And down. Okay, so the whole time on the legs, if you're focusing only on the legs, the standing leg has to be pressing and sinking down. The leg has to be pressing and sinking down to keep that other leg alive and, and floating, very easy to move. Okay. All right. So continue breathing in and out, relaxed upper body. Breathe in, lift and down, letting go, transfer. Standing leg, feel the bottom of the ground. Extend and lift and down. This time add the foot pump. So heel and then press and lift and down. Transfer, heel and then press and lift and down and then you add the turn of the waist so heel and press and turn the waist so one the, the punching hand will extend a little further keep the body up my body is falling relax the hip when you're stretching we actually have to relax One more time, each leg. And relax and come back to center. Yeah. Loosen up the legs a little bit. And so in the past, we didn't do all this loosening up in between, but the more you focus right on this joint, you need to loosen up in between. Okay, hold the ball, drop your shoulders, hold that ball right in front of the heart. Think of the sun in your chest, smile, relax all the facial muscles. So face has no expression. That expression comes from thinking of smiling. Relax, sink one leg, so the other leg releases, 45, and flex the ankle, heel, and toe. Upper body is relaxed and it's suspended. The standing leg is sinking. Put your mind right into that pelvic joint while the whole leg presses down so that this leg is zero. And just thinking of picking it up will cause it to rise. Okay, then bring it back to center. Relax and sink this leg into the earth so the other leg can release. Keep that constant pressure. Keep that constant pressure sinking into the earth. Make this side zero. So this side has to remain full. Right in here, sinking and pressing. The whole bottom of the feet is sinking and pressing into the earth. And then switch. Small toe, big toe. The angle your leg, 45. Lift 
them barely touching the ground just gently tapping the ground and this side is 100 this side is zero just the intent of the movement and switch bottom of the feet the whole bottom of the feet resting and sinking into the earth and relax okay so it takes a lot of um focus to just focus right inside of here and to adjust everything else but you make this number one the physical part <clears throat> just pressing and then slowly correct everything else but if you try and focus keep this right activated the whole time that's where that's where we want that change to be yeah, so it's, very different, it'll, it'll change. It's, it's doing a therapy. We're, you know, can call it physical therapy if you want, but it's a different kind of practice. And I'm asking <clears throat> some of my other friends to, you know, just around, <laughs> around the world, just to look at this of what I'm talking about, discovering and seeing if other people have discovered it or they teach it because it's, this is self-taught for me, right? It's just kind of self-discovery. All right, loosen everything up. Oh, we did so much focus on this, right? You really did some physical exercise. You know what, stand up, stand up and shake it out because I know, <laughs> I know you really, yeah, and just kind of, yeah, you really got to loosen this up, pick the knee straight up. You're really going to have to loosen this up. A little pounding because we did a we did a lot more physical movement in here so yeah just just loosen it up and want to loosen up this whole hip area yeah. 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 Okay. okay so I know I'm pushing a lot more physical training today so before i forget <laughs> before i forget after class no later than going to sleep if you have if you have apple cider vinegar you take maybe one or two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and you drink that and the way i like to do it is i like to put it in a small glass of juice if i have orange juice i like that because orange juice has that that high acid so it hides the taste of the vinegar. Um, I have mango juice now, so I'll do it in mango juice. But just a little bit. Don't, don't make a full glass and put two tablespoons. Just make a small glass. It'll be a little bit stronger, but you knock that down. And then you can drink a full glass. So whatever you're using, water, juice, whatever. So you just drink a little bit and then drink a full glass right, to, to wash it down. But the, um, the apple cider vinegar will help, will help you to uh, uh, um, not get those knots <laughs> so that you can walk tomorrow. Yeah? But loosen this up. If you do yoga stretches, go and do yoga stretches later on. But yeah, pay attention to this because we really did work it hard today. Okay. Uh, we spent so much time, it's already 1040, but I, I still want to run a little bit of the set before we take a break and do the next do the second hour okay. yeah, so you can see that if you do the warm-up a certain way it's way more than warm-up right <laughs> it's way more than... okay keep your watch off yeah you know if you're the kind of person that um, cannot wear watches because your your own magnetic field you know we have people like that right they, they cannot wear watches because their own EMF their body EMF is so strong, it, it always throws the watches off. If you do these kind of practice, it, it's only going to make it stronger. <laughs> ah, all right, loosen everything up. Same thing, extend the legs away. So remember, we want to uh, try this, right? Extend the legs and then slowly walk it back to find the correct position. Sit straight, take nice big breaths of air. Use the ha sound when breathing, even if it's silent, the ha, H-A. 
It must have a must have a good reason why the Polynesians use ha <laughs> for breath. It opens up the throat, right? Ha allows that air, that breath to flow nicely. Bring the hands up slowly. Think about the movement. Legs are just resting on the earth right now. Upper body is just nicely aligned. Gently close the eyes and practice wuji, state of wuji. Chin is down. Just resting like a soap bubble. Just calm your breathing down. Nice deep breath. With deep breath, sink the air down to your lower tantin. Remove the physical expression from your face so all your facial muscles can relax. But have that nice, light inner smile right from the heart. Check your body, move your joints to relieve all the tension. And slowly open your eyes, looking straight ahead at the mountain. Nice, deep, relaxed breath. Slowly ex expand from the pelvic. So both feet are equally pressing into the earth. And the top of the head is slowly being suspended and pulled from above. Relax all the joints. Sung. Smiling. Sinking the breath. And when you're ready, we you start commencement with the breath, with the inhale. So commencement, when you're ready to breathe in, start picking up the ball of chi. So waking up the chi, extending the fingertips, and bring it to your heart, smiling, sink. Number two, rolling the ball out, bringing it down into your body, rising up through all the organs, all the other chakra, out through the throat, the heart, the throat, even the third eye, and then resetting at the heart. Heart is number one. Turn to your right, number four, single whip. Turn and press and just pass halfway open, like opening up a window. Number five, one sow, cloud hands, keep on turning. Learn to turn 45. So this is number one. The first one is just the setting up. This is number two. You want to be able to look right over the fingertips. Don't block your eyes with your palms. And this is number three. Bring the palms back to the heart. Turn a little bit to the right and spiral back right into an open and close. And then we'll repeat on the left side. So turn and press and just pass halfway open. And then the left hand starts to fall. That was single whip. And then one saw. So this is the preparation for one saw. The hand slowly moving up and down. This is number one. Lightly stretching the tips of the fingers. Feel the shoulders expand. Smile. Feel both feet gently pressing into the earth. The pelvic joints open. Number three. Bring side, bringing the hands back to the center. Right into an open and close. Number seven, brushing the knee on the right side. Drop your shoulders, turn and slide the right hand up by the ear. Breathing in and exhale, relax and then expand. Soon, expand and relax. 
drop the palms to center. Keep on turning a little bit and then turn 45 to the right. Left hand rising, right hand coming back. Cradle the ball, turn. And then parry right. The hands washing through the forearms and parry left. Left hand flips over to cover, ends up under the left wrist. Make a plus sign. Breathe in and grab. Exhale and squeeze the fist while the right rises forward. And then release. Back to the center. Rolling back. Drop the shoulders, the elbows. Gather. Compress. Lift the sternum. Double palms pressing. Draw the palms back. You have to release all the joints. Come back to the heart and reset at the heart. And then repeat on the left side. Turn and slide the left hand up to the height of the ear. Right hand compressing into the elbow. Exhale, fingertip, heel of the palm, lift the sternum, sung. Turn the palm center, keep on turning. And then 45 to your left. Right hand sliding and rising up while the left hand washes. Then scoop the left hand under the elbow turn and then parry left let the palms wash the forearms and parry right the palm washing the center of the forearm fingertip tracing cover just turn and flip the hand over turn 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 wrist on wrist breathe in and start grabbing exhale squeeze the fist Letting the left hand rise and then release. Wrist over wrist right in the center. Drop the shoulder, bend the elbows, drawing back, gathering and compressing, relax. And then lift the sternum Now you exhale. And release the joints, pull the chi back to the heart and reset with the heart chikung. Repeat the brush knee on the left side again. Turn and slide the hand up, breathing in and exhaling. Leisurely tying the coat. Turn to your left while the right hand comes in and then circles out. Turn the palm center a little and then wipe down in the center. Turn the waist, drop the shoulders and elbows. Turn the right palm up. Lift right under the chin and push the palm straight out, expanding. Feel the shoulder blades open and then big spiral. Drop the shoulders and elbows. Swivel both palms to the front. Release right into an open and close. Heart and lung chiku. And then repeat. Repeat on the right side. Turn and Breathe in and out. Lift the sternum. Fold the left hand in. Turn the waist. Hand rises. Palms turn center a little. Wipe down. Lift. Press out. Stand the fingertips. Big spiral. The whole body turn over the tailbone. Drop the shoulder and elbow. Double palm. Just release right in front of the heart. Last section, turn to your right. Almost like doing a single whip, but the right hand drops and the waist turns. And then turn back to fist under elbow, bottom fist under the top elbow. Turn the waist, breathe in. And as you exhale, turn and let the bottom fist push out to the belly button. Then it opens, then it folds and turn to your right. The left hand falls and washes down the arm, repulse monkey, followed by brush knee. Relax and soon, expand and soon. Keep on turning, breathing in. Exhale, hot knife through butter, soon. Keep on turning. Hot knife through butter, soon. 
leisurely tying the coat. Turn and fold. Down, drop the shoulders close to the body. Elbows and shoulders down, elbows in. Big spiral. Drop the shoulders and elbows. Double palm swivels to the front. Release and hold the ball right in front of the heart, smiling, projecting, and then turn to your left. Open and drop the left hand and turn the waist and turn back, left fist on the right elbow. Breathe in and exhale and turn and push the fist out. Squeeze the fist and then release. And then lift and fold, repulse monkey left. Brush the right knee. Sung, hot knife through butter. Keep on turning. Breathe in and out. Hot knife through butter. Sung. Keep on turning. Sung. Leisurely tying the coat. Right palm up, down, left fingertips connecting to the wrist. Drop the shoulders and elbows, lift right under the chin. Extend, expand, spiral. Loosen up the hip. Reset the body, calm everything down, drop the shoulders, double palms, breathing in. Take your time to realign the body, calm the breath down. Both legs still, 50-50, double weight sinking into the earth. And slowly press one leg into the earth right into that hip joint so the other leg releases bring it back constant pressure with the front leg and then transfer and switch to the back leg sink right into that pelvic joint that hip joint feel the front leg release so you can bring it back both legs 50 50 and then both legs slowly releasing Return back to Wuxi, let everything go. Lightly close your eyes. Calm the breath down, feel the lower belly expand and release. Make everything light. Make sure the breath is sinking down. Make sure you're smiling. Inward smile and releasing all the tension in the facial muscles. Let the shoulders go, the chin is down. You feel everything calm, then slowly open your eyes. Let everything go. Slowly let everything go. Slowly move around. Okay, so long for a session today. <laughs> Little different plan. <laughs> That's okay. One day we'll just go two hours straight. <laughs> ah. Okay, so second half, we'll make second half short. We'll just, we'll review um, the last section. Uh, let's see, last section with, with the parry, was the section after the parry, I think it was section five. Yes, so we'll just review that and then we'll go on with our day after that. But. Let's take a short break, just a five minute break. Just a short five minute break, right? Yeah, loosen up, walk around, make sure you loosen up the hip area. <laughs>